He's on these bikes and he is looking at them and let's document. What you think, homie? In my opinion, you look more comfortable. Yep, here he comes. Bike's not dropped, that's a good thing. He's swerving around. Oh, he's handing it like a champ. I think he's gonna do it. I think he's gonna do it. Back in the day, there were 16 MSRP, but the Lowrider S is set up for someone like a transition bike, like you are, and then you still have the bikini fairing, but you have so many options. You got the T Sport, you got Memphis uh, Shade, of course, my favorite, the FXRT fairing to put on there. All the brothers that rode Dynas, it's the only thing always we did T bars, good looking bike. Again, like Alex coming from CBR or something like this, I mean, yeah. Yeah? Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, it's got stage three? <laughs> Alex, remember I was telling you about the Bunk King crash bar instead of putting yeah. Fords on it? Right. Now, not only can you put your feet on it, but it also protects you with the bike. You know, in case you do go down, it allows the bike to, to slide away from you yeah, instead slide. of trapping you under it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. The girl was great. I do like our new one, the... Uh, See a little bit of the flake in it. And then, remember I said about the relocation kits? Yes. That's yeah. what they did here. Right. And then, yeah, so you just put it right there on your gauges. Yep. Okay. Well, that way it works too, because I mean, you know, this bike is built to haul ass. You can look right up, you know exactly what can't, speed you're going. Of course, the, of course, honestly, at that point, if the officer pulls you over, that's your ass. You know, wow. There should be no reason he should catch you on this bike. That's you damn right about that. <laughs> this is the 22 Street Glide. So you're coming from a Honda. It all depends on your size and stature. <sighs> Old school FXR, man. Woo. There, we have arrived here at the dealership here in Paducah, Kentucky, and he has opened up Jake so. From State Farm, you have a call on line one, Jake from State Farm, line one. So, Jake from State Farm, you actually have a call on line one. My relationship with Xander has blossomed to the point of like, he's opened up so many opportunities for myself and other combat vets here on YouTube to do our thing, and in the Mustang community, like. He is the point of contact. I've always gone him, speed addict, everything else. Like this trip, we get to hang out together. But I digress, right? Now, he's off his Honda, right? So he had a C-Bar 1000, and he's been looking at Harleys back and forth. The ability to show someone a lifestyle that we all love and care about, and then at the same time, putting another combat vet on a bike, and then thirdly, being a part of that process and helping with it. So that's what's gonna be special about this event. He's on these bikes and he is looking at them and let's document it. What you think, homie? This is the Sportster S. This is a cool in-between. It's got the 1250 rev match motor in it. It's gonna have power delivery similar to a sport bike. You know, you're looking at 9,000 rev range on these bikes, okay. which is unheard of for a Harley Davidson, but the revolutionary max motor, that's what it's designed to do. Well, here's here's the question to you. We had, we had discussed the Lowrider S. This is the bike, this is the around town bike, fun bike to go out there and cut the corners with and everything else. This is gonna be a very natural transition into, uh, from that sport bike, from that CBR. Kilos. So while Alex is actually doing all the admin stuff, we're gonna take a short little pause because I think he's gonna do it. I think he's gonna do it. A lot of brothers come from sport bikes and you have to have a transitional bike in between, right? You don't wanna jump from having a sport bike to a freaking road glide. I mean, some brothers do. This is this. He's gonna ride the sports dress and the lowrider us. Is he really? Getting Alex's feedback after he rides both the sports dress and the lowrider. Oh, rider absolutely. Be interesting. What are you feeling right now? It'll be nice to get your input though. That's what I'm saying, like emotional, like emotional wise, like how are you, like what are you thinking right now as you look at the sports to rest? Is it resonating with you more or less? Beautiful freaking bike. I love the white sand pearl. The only ugly thing on this bike, and like you said, aftermarket is fixing it, is this license plate. And do it integrate, yeah, do it integrated. Uh, Thinking like a sport bike world, you know. Feels like I'm getting back on my little Honda head. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna let you go by yourself. Whenever, yeah, whenever you pull out of a road here. Alex on his inaugural ride. There you go. Yep, he's getting it.
hit the top. There we go. Alex, what'd you think? Got a smile on your face. Yeah. Sport yeah, it's a bad. Yeah, exactly. Oh, That's where your power delivery comes on. This is more than enough power. Ever. Right. Oh, you know, ever? What I'm gonna do? Yeah. It's comfortable. It's small. It's nimble. It's like sport bikes where it came from, but it's just a little bit more relaxed. I like it. Dude. Brothers got That's options. Fun. That's why we come to Harley Davidson. A brothers got options. This is more fun than the CBR. Mm -hmm. Is this the only color you have? I don't hate the color either. Though. All right, let's run this. One. First time on a Milwaukee Eight. It's a sewing machine. All right, so these are very much more traditional. So you have your blinker right here. I do like that. It's a little easier to navigate. Yes. Yeah. My first time getting on a Harley and, and having the turn signals on both sides, it just it just makes sense. The Honda had everything here in it. It's just a cluttered mess. So I'll try your All right, inaugural ride. Milwaukee 8, 114. Remember, 3,500 is where the power band is going to kick in on this one. Yeah, you're right. That's I think so freaking badass, dude. I love I love the road. What's that? I know. It happens. In my opinion, he looks more comfortable. Yep. When Alex pulled out, he was standing up on the pegs on the mid controls on the low rider S. I think. Personally, I mean, leave your comments right now of what bike he's gonna end up getting, but I think the Lowrider S is gonna win out. One eternity later. Here he comes. Bike's not dropped, so that's a good thing. He's swerving around. Oh, he's handling it like a champ. Look at that look on his face. First time, Milwaukee 8. That's right, it is a 117. First time Milwaukee 8 117. What do you think, Alexander? Definitely more comfortable. They got about the same wind that's hitting me through the turns. Yeah. Um, you definitely feel the weight. Oh, but yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, like I told you. Remember, I say when it's going to fall faster and then you just yeah. throttle and clutch through. Yeah. This is actually my first time riding a cruiser of any kind. Yes. Now I'm torn. Very comfortable. Yeah, not, not nearly as fast as that thing. That, that's impressive, honestly. That's so much fun. I want both. I'm gonna have to buy one of those too. Eventually. So Alex has made his decision, and it is the. So right now he's sitting down with the sales rep and doing a credit app. Like a lot of us already had that first bike. So remember the emotional roller coaster we all on? Like, like you see that price? Like, oh my god, it's so expensive. But again, you're buying into the lifestyle as well. Yeah, there's no way around it. But to just go ahead and introduce our new daily driver. It's not this. Don't worry, guys. It is not going away. Our 2021 Boosted Mach 1 is not going anywhere, guys. If you saw the last video, you know that we just put in a lethal performance dual pump fuel system with E85. We are ready to turn this thing up. But we want to keep things safe. So to do that, we're gonna split the miles off with another daily driver, something that I gave up about a year ago. So now, let me introduce you to our second daily driver, and that is, of course, the new hotness, the new 2022 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. Here we go. Gunship gray, got the temp tag, the deal is done, finance, ready to go. Look at this, we have a finer jet gray Mach 1, now we have a gunship gray. This is so sick how this just played out. I'm speechless, guys. I am honestly speechless. Not new to the Harley, but new for this bike. Milwaukee A117. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this thing. It is a torque monster. So this is, so guys, this is my first cruiser, okay? We came up here and I drove, I test drove a Sportster and I loved it because I'm coming off of a CBR, 2018 CBR 1000. I love sport bikes. So that, that bike fit me perfectly, but we can't really build upon it. We can't bring you future content and we can't really fit somebody on the back of it very easily either. And we can't travel with it and do road miles and stuff like that. And we can with this. We can add bags to it. We can do exhaust. We can do engine work. We can do all of those things with this motorcycle. Guys, we have a real bike now. 
Um, I think that everybody out there is going to hopefully enjoy this. And we're going to definitely keep continuing the Mustang content. That is our tried and true passion. But if you are new to this channel and you love Harley Davidsons, guys, I am brand new at this. This is my first Harley Davidson. And I'm going to be going through it. I'm going to be learning the bike. I'm going to need a little bit of your feedback. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about all this and uh, steer my direction. I would love to hear all about your builds and what you have done. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. It's, it's, what do you think? It, well, you, brother, you know me. So you and I have been friends now going on five years and you know I love Harley Davidson. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I've got Vader and, but I love the Lowrider S and I can already tell you what I would do with it. Yeah. FXRT, I would do an FXRT fairing. Okay. I do the cows for the win, keep the mid controls, bunking crash bar, bunking crash bar on the back, uh, thrashing pullback risers, thrashing uh, fly motor, or excuse me, thrashing bars, medium bend on it. Uh, for the seat, I do a Salomon two up. Okay. Uh, gives you a nice displacement, something to rest your butt on. Uh, obviously, uh, your old lady in the back, so have some a backrest that's attachable. Then instead of hard bags like the like the Sport Glide has or had, which they still make in Europe, but had. Or maybe the ST? Or the ST, nylon bags. I wouldn't do hard bags on this. I do soft bags on it. Okay. They're really cool. Uh, of course, custom dynamic lights, you know, maybe a two into one Bassani Road Rage 4. Now, on the motor here and everything else, there's so much stuff you can do to this thing to get so much power out of it. Like right now, my bike's pushing, you know, 115 of the wheels, 135 torque on a bagger. So guys, real quick, if you don't know by now, this is Determined Veteran on YouTube, all right? And we, were, we go back way, before, you know, years back. So we're good friends, too. yeah. And um, anyway, it's really cool to see your channel grow. You, see, you are into Mustangs too. He's got a Shelby GT 350R. That, that you filmed when I first bought. Yep, and yeah. now you're here to buy or to film yeah. and experience you know, this new ownership of Harley. But anyway, he's gonna be my mastermind, one of them uh, going forward. But again, like I said, in the comments down below, leave me your thoughts because a lot of you guys out there have Mustangs, Corvettes, Camaros, but you also love Harley too. Yes, sir. And I want to know your experience. So, ah, oh, anyway, yeah, we're gonna have so much fun with this. Subscribe to Determined Veteran. He's got a sick, sick build. I love this bike. No, he's got he's got stage four. I have a stage, yeah. So I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch. So I got a stage four Screaming Eagle. It's a total warranty build. Uh, yes, I know you're gonna roast me in the comments. But trust me. Uh, I've got uh, flywheel already ordered, built transmission already ordered, chain sprocket already ordered. I'm just trying to decide what my cam's gonna do. Big shout out to Tap Performance that sponsors me, uh, can get me in contact with Power Vision and the cam I want. I'm still trying to decide what I want on Vader. But for right now, I rode 900 miles yeah, to came witness here from this. PA to witness this. this. Yeah. So, and then now we're about to go, I think, hit up Tail of the, the Dragon. So what a better way to break in a new bike than yeah. a road trip. So yeah. guys, lots of content coming your way on this awesome low rider S and then also the continuation of our build with the Mach 1 Mustang ESS supercharged lethal performance fuel system. We're getting ready to go into the suspension and some other goodies and mods, but I've always wanted a Harley and I never thought that I'd ever be able to, you know, afford uh, a Harley Davidson because I always, you know, just bought the cheaper bikes. But this is this is my first one. I think it's a good entry level bike to get into, a good entry level cruiser. I'm excited to start the build and the journey and the experience of owning a Harley Davidson, guys. Yeah, stay tuned for the next videos to come and I'll see you guys next video. Subscribe if you haven't. God bless all of you, bye. You have a bigger motor now than I did when I bought mine, stop. One way to break it in. Yeah. Big shout out to you for helping us with this deal today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's always a good day when someone's on a new Harley Davidson. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Make your dreams come true. Absolutely.